I sure do love spending time with my family. You know dad, we love you too. But lately I've been feeling very angry about the mess your generation has left for us younger generations. Truly existential threats. That doesn't feel like love to me. For the past 50 years or more people have kicked the can down the road, pursuing their own prosperity at the expense of future generations. That violates the basic principles of intergenerational equity. Equity requires that the current generation not diminish opportunities for future generations. You know, like you used to tell us, don't eat all the food and trash the place. But the planet has been trashed. Arguably the biggest problem we face is global climate change. Many scientists think we have passed the tipping point. Temperatures rise and wildfires rage. Once in a millennium droughts threaten all kinds of life. Intense storms are more frequent and more destructive. The Arctic ice is melting rapidly, raising sea levels. Floods are more frequent and intense. Soon there will be more plastic than fish in the oceans. Extinctions of species are occurring, most due to man's activities. Half a century of policies that favor the wealthy at the expense of everyone else have left us with extreme income inequality, stagnant wages, fewer job opportunities, and fewer economic prospects than our parents. Many of us have six-figure student loan debt that we will be paying off for decades. Most of us cannot afford to buy, or even rent, Decades a Decades of house. tax cuts and unfunded expenditures have produced unsustainable deficits that will come due just in time for us to delay retirement. We don't expect to see social security. Here at home we face corrosive culture wars, hyperpartisanship, and bitter polarization, with threats of violence and civil war. The resulting political instability, corruption and ineffectiveness is frightening and disheartening. On the global stage, the nuclear doomsday clock is now set at 90 seconds to midnight. As the ratio of retirees to workers has risen, governments are spending 2.2 times on pensions what they spend on education. When the ratio reaches 1 to 1, projected for 2050, this inequity will only get worse. It's easy to see why younger generations don't want to have children, fearing they cannot provide them a good life. I know it's a lot to think about. But after you think, please do something to help.